What is up people, this is your brother in democracy from the PC Cool channel and in this video we will be doing a weapon tier list for Helldivers 2. This is the most updated tier list that you will find on YouTube since this also includes the Polar Patriot Warbond weapons. So without wasting any time, let's move on to the tier list. Alright, at first we have the Liberator. It is uh, pretty much a middle of the ground weapon, not too good, not too bad. Uh, a basic assault rifle, a C tier, everybody would have to use it, but once you level up, you just get uh, better things, better options. The next one is the Liberator Penetrator. Now, believe it or not, I like this weapon a lot. I like this, uh, I like to use this weapon when I'm playing against Terminus. The medium armor penetration uh, really helps. So, this is gonna be an A tier for me. I know this is a controversial statement, but yeah, it is what it is. I like to use that weapon a lot. The next one is the Liberator Concussive. Um, to me, again, this is a pretty much uh, below average weapon. And considering this is part of a premium war bond, already puts it into disadvantage against the weapons that you get for free. Also, yeah, the slow fire rate, I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, the concussive rounds can help, but I don't think it's worth it. There are better options. So, yeah, C. The Peacemaker secondary, uh, a pretty good and average secondary. I, ha I, I like to use this weapon sometimes, but yeah, the damage is there. But right now, after the new Warbond, there are better options available. So, I would say a B tier. So next we have the sickle, pretty much S tier, the best AR in the game. Love the fire rate, works really well on ice planets and even non-ice planets. So yeah, if you want an AR, this is the AR to use. This is the senator, easy and S tier for me. I just love hand cannons and how I, I love how this weapon feels. I use this weapon so much against the automatons and the terminates. So yeah, love the firepower. So the next one is the tenderizer. Uh, <laughs> D tier, probably one of the worst weapons in the game. This is the only, I mean, this is part of the new Warbond, and this one is worse than the Vanilla Liberator. Uh, I've already made a video on this, so I I'm not sure what Arrowhead was trying to do with this thing. Yeah, this needs a huge buff. The next we have the Pummeler. I have been using this weapon a lot. I would say if you want a weapon with concussive rounds, I would recommend that you use the Pummeler. It is a one-handed weapon, and which means you can just run and shoot with it. So yeah, I've been using this weapon a lot on Helldive difficulty. I've already made a video on this one. So yeah, I would like to put this one into A tier. Uh, really love the SMG. So the next we have Blitzer. Easily an S tier option for me, just one shots, brute commanders, one shots, stalkers, and if you just hip fire, the ar it arcs to multiple enemies. So yeah, not really good against automatons, but really good against uh, terminates. So the next we have the Punisher Plasma, an A tier shotgun. Really love the explosion. I use it a lot against uh, terminates. Uh, don't really use a lot against automatons, but yeah, love what it does and uh, probably one of my most uh, favorite energy weapon in the game. The next we have the breaker, Prey and Spray. Gotta put it into B tier, love the magazine size, love the fire rate, but it falls shot when it comes to firepower. Yeah, the fire rate is good, but it is only good for clearing small ads. Anything bigger, it doesn't really work. There are better options in the game right now. The next one is a breaker, pretty much uh, the best option you have if you don't have the breaker incendiary. Um, huge damage. Have done plenty of solo hill dives with this weapon. So, yeah, if you don't have the premium warbond, just go get the breaker. Which brings me to the breaker incendiary, probably the best weapon in the game at the moment. Ever since uh, Arrowhead buffed uh, fire damage and added the new ship module and fix damage over time for players who are not hosts fire damage has been really great so yeah the next one is the diligence um it it, it is it is kind of like in a middle ground sniper has good fire rate but i normally use snipers for automatons doesn't really i don't really use them for terminates 
and when I'm using them against automatons, I need more firepower, and I think the counter uh, diligence works better um, when it comes to uh, snipers. Yeah, uh, the counter diligence easily and A tier. I use this weapon a lot with the uh, AMR. Um, it is hits hits pretty hard, just one shots, devastators. That is all we need from a sniper. The next we have the defender, a C tier again. The situation is kind of same as the liberator, a pretty middle of the road SMG. Not good, not bad. But since we have the pummeler, the defender doesn't make any sense. The crossbow. This weapon was not really that good to begin with. On top of that, they nerfed it. It doesn't close holes. It doesn't destroy fabricators. And uh, yeah, I have had my f share of fun with it. But right now, it's just garbage. I cannot recommend. They need to buff the fire rate and the uh, projectile speed. Um, yeah, pretty much trash. The next one is the Eruptor. Oh my god, this, uh, this this weapon was probably S tier, but now now it's just C tier. Especially because, I mean, this has damage, this has firepower, but the way this weapon uh, performs, it is so slow and so sluggish. So, after they nerfed it and removed that shrapnel thing, I don't think using this one is worth it since it is so slow and a lot of people might not uh, like it. The Dominator, uh, pretty much an S tier, uh, probably uh, one of the best shotguns that you have in the game, probably one of the best weapons that you have in the game. It was uh, overpowered, not overpowered, nothing in Hilarious 2 is overpowered. It was good before the nerf, after the nerf also is good. Uh, now for the sight, uh, I, to be honest, I'm not really sure, uh, I don't like the way laser weapons feel in... Um, Hilarious 2. So I know a lot of people like this weapon, so I'm gonna use put it into B. But yeah, not my uh, cup of tea. So yeah, B, B. I think B is a good position for this one. Now, but the this is just an extra. Uh, the Scorcher, easy S tier, probably the best weapon you can use for automatons takes care of striders takes care of devastators with ease yeah they nerfed it but yeah still works really well no complaints at all next is the redeemer uh this is probably between a and s tier for me like if you want to dish out really high damage within a small period of time then redeemer is your uh friend i would call this a perfect support weapon uh, just <laughs> just remove the armor of the charger and they just shoot it with the redeemer. That's the best way. The next one is a grenade pistol. Uh, probably an S tier for me. Can close bug holes. Can close fabricators. Can crowd control. And uh, yeah, I, I take it almost everywhere. Every time I am doing a terminal mission, especially when I'm doing uh, solo hell dives. So yeah, easy S tier for me. Now we have the dagger. Again, I told you how I, how I feel about laser weapons in Hellivers 2. Uh, and I don't I don't really like them. I don't like the way they feel. I don't like tick damage. So yeah. <laughs> Next we have the Punisher. I I use this weapon a lot against the automatons. Not too much against the terminates because of um, the light armor penetration, I use the uh, slugger more when it comes to terminates. But yeah, pretty much kills everything when it comes to automatons. So yeah, an A tier shotgun. Up next, we have the slugger. Oh no, not on B tier, an A tier. <laughs> really like to use it against the automatons and terminates uh, as well because of its medium armor penetration. Works really well. Can one shot devastators when shot on the head. Uh, yeah, adjudicator is a D tier, probably in C tier, but not as bad as the tenderizer. But <laughs> yeah, it, it it was it was launched in the previous warbond. I again don't know what what is the purpose of this weapon. A lot of people use it. I mean, not not a lot. Some people use it, but I don't see uh, <laughs> the <laughs> reason. 
The next one is the Purifier, probably the worst weapon in the game right now. It is worse than the Tenderizer. <laughs> imagine you have to charge your shots and you have to imagine charging five shots to kill a Devastator. I don't, again, one of these weapons, I don't know what Arrowhead was thinking before they <laughs> made it. Lastly, we have the Verdict, uh, an A-tier pistol for me. It is part of the Polar Patriot Warbond, one of the good weapons of the Warbond. And I have been using this weapon a lot at the moment. Probably my favorite uh, secondary uh, right now. Works really well. Uh, it has some of the power of the Senator and some of the fire rate of the Peacemaker. So, yeah, love it. Alright, so that was pretty much it uh, for the tier list. If you think that you agree with the tier list, let me know in the comment section below. If you think that you don't agree, then also you can let me know in the comment section below. Uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.